what will never be the same again once the pandemic is over. Me. I will never be able to see people as mostly good ever again. It feels like most people have been selfish. Uncaring narcissists during this pandemic. I have seen people standing too close to others in queues. Coughing and sneezing without masks in public. Going to parties. Pubs and restaurants and then visiting their parents and not giving a damn that they could kill someone who is vulnerable. Now I view people very differently. Including family members who just couldn't bear to stay at home or wear a fucking mask. I now see people as mostly sociopaths. Hopefully pizza delivery. No contact pizza delivery is the best thing to come out of this. Our healthcare workforce. I'm afraid of a mass exodus of nurses in particular. This pandemic kicked everyone's ass. But none more so than healthcare workers. Let's be real guys. When the pandemic is over and it's safe to go back to normal. Society will go back to pre-COVID times for the most part. Crowded bars and clubs. Concerts. Handshakes. No more masks etc. Though I think it will be gradual and slow within the first few years of the end. I guarantee there will be COVID is over parties to compensate for the lack of parties. It's kind of stupid to think people will continue to social distance when it's over. I mean people have a hard time doing it now. However I think things like WFH will be a lot more common. Commuting. I'm sure I will work from home regularly. Traffic jams will not disappear. But will be less common. Movie theaters. I think they'll still be around. But there will be fewer. And it won't be the only place to see brand new movies. People will only go for the experience. Trust in governments. It wasn't good to begin with. But now it is virtually non-existent. They turned one of the biggest tragedies of the century into a power grab, most governments. All around the world. As far as I'm concerned. There is no forgiveness for them. In the long term. Once the pandemic is over I don't think a whole lot is going to change. But I do see the loss of many small businesses being permanent. There will be fewer people working in offices than before. But I don't think permanent WFH is going to catch on as much as people predict. While some people love WFH. Some people hate it. Or they are unable to do it effectively. And I think over time there will be some recruitment and retention issues. Those who want to WFH will migrate to companies that are full WFH. While those who want to work in an office will migrate to those jobs. No one will trust you if you have the common cold or a slight cough. My regard for the chuds in my city slash state slash county who refuse to wear a mask or to even give a single. Solitary fuck about anyone but themselves. After tasting the heaven called home office. I will despise the regular office much more and the crappy office coffee. The feeling of being in a rave. Passing round water and sharing bodily fluids. Being the thousandth person to use a port and singing with all your breath. Will never be the same again. There is no way we can feel that free again without the pandemic thoughts creeping in. I think cruise ships might be done for lol. The pandemic showed me the true colors of a lot of people and I actually realized why the world is garbage. People are garbage and the few people that aren't like that are treated like they are. Coughing to hide a fart. Self-explanatory. Really. For me. Grocery shopping. I haven't been inside a store in several months. It's really nice to be able to pull up at a store and have someone load groceries into the trunk. Right now it's free in my city but I would happily pay to use this service. Life as we know it. The value of an American dollar. Going outside without a mask. I sometimes see videos of crowds before 2020 and cringe because they should be wearing a mask but then remember that COVID wasn't a thing then. A lot about my life has come. Gone and changed in the past year and during the pandemic. All while I've been sitting here just clavering away by me lonesome. I don't think I'll ever quite see the world the same again but I guess that's just living. Right? My faith in humanity will never recover. The health of people who had permanent organ damage due to COVID. 6 to 10 feet of space between people in waiting lines. 
many smaller businesses that are already heavily suffering will not able to recover even after the pandemic because it has become so normal for many to just use Amazon. So please support your local businesses. The weird pride surrounding dragging yourself to work when you're sick. I don't think I can ever touch anything again without thinking about the germs all over it, sad face. Ad My trust in the government. Adult kids living with their family. I think it'll be more widely accepted in the Western world. My will to give a fuck about working in an office. Let's wear masks in public whenever we might be feeling under the weather. I always thought that a very sensible and considerate gesture to make when I saw it being done in other parts of the world. I haven't had so much as a head cold in 2020. Guessing the extra sanitization and general cleanliness has been helpful. I always washed my hands like normally but maybe extra focus is a good idea forever. The blissful ignorance of sticking my fingers in a random bowling ball. Then proceeding to eat food without a care in the world. It will no longer be weird to wear face coverings in public so celebrities will always wear them to not be recognized. Hopefully waiting in line at the grocery store. Breathing down my neck will not get you out of the store faster. Sneezing. I have a guy friend who constantly jokes that I have COVID if I sneeze once. I tell him no. John. It's from all the goddamn dust and hair and shit that gets in my nose. No. I'm not sick. I'm fine. Even if you sneeze into a mask. You'll get quite a few panicked. Worried looks from people who will be going oh no here we go again. I don't know about never. But I fear that people might keep wearing masks just to cover their faces because of self-esteem issues. Just to clarify. I'm not judging anyone for not wanting to show their face. I just think that even with low self-esteem and or confidence you should like your face is usable. If that makes sense. Covering it should be a choice and not a way of survival in my opinion. Being able to order drinks through an app while you're at a bar. Tons of families will be missing some important members. Trust in government. Not that I ever did it much previously. But I highly doubt I'll ever eat at a buffet again. I think the plexiglass dividers at checkouts will stay around. For me. Job interviews. I've always been bad at them. And I've never really had any questions for the interviewer. Which I know can be heresy in some places. Can't wait to ask every employer what they slash their business did to accommodate their employees and follow slash enforce CDC guidelines during the COVID-19 pandemic. As this time was very telling about the natures of various people and businesses when the going gets tough. Birthday parties. No more blowing candles. Ever. Again. I wonder if this will cause a boom in the entertainment industry and restaurants. As much as I like eating and watching movies at home. Sometimes there is nothing like getting out of the house and being able to enjoy a good movie or a meal out. Though I do hope this causes movie prices to go down. $20 for a movie. And even before the pandemic hit. Most movies weren't even worth that money. Boundaries between work slash school and home. When many businesses and schools went completely virtual. There was no longer the boundary of work slash school is at work slash school and home is at home. Now work slash school is at home. And many of them feel as though all your time is now their time. The common attitude many people have already seen from many businesses slash schools is you're at home so you're not doing anything anyway. They contact you at inappropriate hours. Assume you have all the time in the world to take on a much higher workload. And make demands they wouldn't otherwise make. Break slash days off are also often not respected. As again. The general attitude is you're at home so you're not doing anything anyway. Interpersonal relations and old school etiquette type of things. Shaking hands. Hugging. Holding a door for someone. I think people will be less likely to do some of these things. It's sad. Honestly I don't think anything is going to change drastically afterwards. This is not the first pandemic the human race has gone through and we didn't learn much from the others. I guess going to festivals or concerts. I mean for me it's even strange to see large groups of people in movies odor videos. Can't really imagine that I'm going to be comfortable in a group of 10 or more once the pandemic is over.
Still gonna think something is strange about it? I have plenty of friends I've lost all respect for. So that's something that's changed. Having to sneeze in public. You're going to see a lot of businesses go fully remote permanently. So a lot of people are going to be moving out of cities into the suburbs so they are going to start booming and turning into small cities. Sitting in a doctor's office waiting room when you're sick. I feel like lots of people will wear masks to hospitals and doctor's offices from now on. I'm never wearing a bra again babe I I I I I. Casinos. I thought they were skanky and dirty before COVID, but still fun as hell. Now standing at a craps table shoulder to shoulder breathing 20 dudes air and sharing chips with dozens of people for hours sounds fucking gross. Movie theaters. Trust in government. Gone forever. I don't think anything will change permanently. Really. Society forgets shit like this oddly quickly. I have a slightly different take on some of this stuff like handshakes. Hugging. And casual physical contact. I think we're gonna go back to doing these things just as soon as we feel it's safe. I know some parts of the country people already are for better or worse, but it's so important for human interaction. I just think we're going to actually appreciate how important these things are. Just being close to someone and looking them in the eye after shaking their hand or patting them on the back is critical to making a personal connection. Yeah I know masks don't cover your eyes but not being able to see half of someone's face is terrible when it comes to basic human interaction. Thanks for watching.